In this video, I'll talk about work energy theorem and I'll explain the work energy theorem by using a numerical problem. So let's assume we have two objects. This is the first object and this is the second object. The first object whose mass is 5 kilogram is moving with 2 meter per second and the second object whose mass is 2 kilogram is moving with 5 meter per second and an equal force a breaking force or let's say a friction force is applied to both objects which is 100 newton of 100 newton force okay so this would be 100 newton so exactly a constant 200 newton force is applied what will happen if you continuously apply a force the object speed will slow down and eventually will come to the rest so both objects have come to rest here so or, or in other words the final speed of both objects is now zero zero meter per second but before coming to the rest, which object has traveled the greatest distance? That's we're going to apply. All right. Okay, that's the question. And let's use the work energy theorem. What is the work energy theorem tells you? The work energy theorem tells you the amount of work done. Here the W stands for the work done is exactly equal to the change in kinetic energy this is the final kinetic energy and this is the initial kinetic energy so if you take the final energy minus initial kinetic energy then that gives you the total amount of work done so this is the final ke stands for the kinetic energy and this is the initial kinetic energy And the work done is also equal to the force times the displacement. And here I'm not using the cosine component or cosine theta because the force and the displacement are in the same direction. So now let's do it for the object one or the first object for the mass M1. We have half M1 V1 F square the v1 f is now the speed the final speed of the first object this is the final and the one stands for the first object and now half m1 v1 i square that is this is the initial speed of the first object and the force and let's assume the distance the travel is d1 now we're going to plug in all the values here half m1 is 5 and v1 f is 0 they, because the final speed is now 0 the object has come to a stop here so its final speed is 0 half mass is 5 kilogram and the v1 i the initial speed it is moving with 2 meter per second so just plug in all the values and the force now is acting in the opposite direction so it is 100 newton and the ne negative sign i'm putting is because it's the breaking force which is in the opposite direction to the displacement that's the reason i have put the negative sign here and the reason is because the force is opposite to the the displacement so if we solve it what you get is the d1 is 0.1 meter which is 10 centimeter so this object has moved 10 centimeter now let's do the same calculation for this second object for the second object now instead of m1 we'll have m2 and instead of v1f we'll have to v2f and exactly the same thing and the force remains exactly the same because we are applying the constant or equal breaking force on both objects so the mass is two kilogram and the velocity is now the final velocity is again zero mass is two kilogram and the v2i which is the initial speed of the first object is five meter per second 
and the breaking force is again 100 newton and we, we now have to calculate for d2 and in this case the d2 is 0.25 meter which is 25 centimeter so this second object has in fact covered more the distance okay and because this one has more kinetic energy than this one that's the reason it has traveled for the, the distance so this is it for this work energy theorem and i hope you understand uh, uh, how to solve the problem related with the work energy theorem keep practicing you'll get there and again if you have any questions write down your questions or, or your feedback in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much